Hey guys, this episode we're going to see if this bed edger right here will run. Stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, this is what I got this week. This is a bed edger. Um, we're going to see if it's going to run. This, um, it don't have the recoil, but I can put a rope on here and wrap it around and pull it and start it. Or use my air gun to spin it over with that nut right there. But this is a bed edger. Right there. I also have... This thing, this is a curber, a curbing machine to make curbs with concrete. That's what this is, and I got all the trowels for it. And I got this and the bed edger, I got it all for 50 bucks off my boss. So, that's what it looks like down under there. But, we're going to get this unloaded, get you set up. We're going to see if it's got spark, and... Uh, shoot, I'll have to send her down after a little gas, and we're going to put some gas in it and see if we can get it to fire up. Here lately, I've been doing pretty good on everything I get. I don't have to work on it. fires right up, or it works already. So, but it'll give us a little bit of tinkering. I think it's going to need a tire there, so. See that? That's not going to hold there. Where you at? There you go. But, uh, that's no biggie. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use this engine to build a little go-kart, or if I'm just going to... You know, get it running, fix it up, maybe a couple new tires, and sell it. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, I've got something else I bought, but it's not here yet because it's too heavy and too big to put in the back of the truck. And it is a Miller um, 300 three-phase welder. So that's going to be interesting. And I've I got it cheap too. I gave 300 bucks for it. So. I'm going to get this unloaded, send her after some gas, and we're going to go from there, and I'll be right back with you guys. Hang tight. Okay, guys, we're back. First thing we're going to do is check this for spark, and I'm going to use this little tester here I've got. What you do is you put this in right here onto the spark plug, and you put your spark plug wire on this end, and it will tell you if you have spark if it lights up when you crank on it. So... I'm going to put this end down here onto the plug and this end onto the plug wire. Can you see that right there? I'm going to get my gloves on. Never fails. Never fucking fails. Don't see a car for two hours, you get the camera out, and all of a sudden it's a damn Macy's Day Parade. I'm not promoting that anyway, by the way. So, well, I mean, geez. All right, I'm just gonna pull with this rope here, and let's see if we've got sparks. See if it'll light up. Oh. No light. Let's turn the switch on now. Try it. Oh. Huh? I said, oh. Oh what? Oh. I'm not trying to start it. I'm checking for spark, honey. I did, someone hasn't went and got my gas yet. Oh, ah, shit. <laughs> there it is, it's lighting up. So we have spark, guys. I'll do it again, just in case they didn't see it. Let me zoom in on here a little bit. Watch right here, yeah. Watch right here. Look kind of a little bit weak, but I think it may be enough to fire it once I get some gas in here. All right. See if it lights up again. Yep, okay, so we've got spark. So now, we're gonna wait on Monkey to go get us some fuel. And we're also gonna try this Ryobi here that I've got this blower behind me that I bought and uh, we're gonna see if it'll run but I'm thinking it probably does but it's been sitting a long time so she's gonna get us some fuel 
and we're going to put some fuel in here the tank is very clean it looks like brand new on the inside of this and it is empty so i'm thinking whoever parked this uh, that my boss got it from probably emptied the fuel out i'm not sure but we'll see so the carburetor may be all right we'll know if it runs it does have some good compression so i'm feeling pretty confident about that i'm not sure what size it is what size engine it is but we'll find out and i'll get back with you on that but right now i'm going to jump off here let her get some fuel and go get my game plan on see if it don't run which is plan a we're going to go to plan c because plan b will be to figure out what we're going to do on plan c you guys follow me on that listen i'll be right back with you guys hang on all right guys i've got the mics on okay i've got the switch on i've got i've already poured the gas in it i've got the choke on and i believe the gas is on and i let it set for a minute make sure this is in neutral and let's give it a shot supposedly this thing sat well I know of a year of a year at the shop behind the shop and uh, my boss Eddie he said it sat for several years before he got it so let's see what happens guys I'm freaking believable. out of the bottom of the carburetor right there by the wheel set so but it is running let me shut this off okay right down there by the wheel I see some gas I don't know if it's because I had it tilted up but let's zoom zoom in on that right there by that wheel that's the bottom of the carburetor right there so um yeah it's got a little bit of a little leak there there's a little o-ring right up here on top of these right there that's where it's leaking from so no big deal it's like a 10 cent fix actually it's free for me i've got o-rings at work so guys there's that um honestly that is the first time i did try to start this thing and i do know that it has set because i've been where i'm at a little over a year and i know for a fact that it's been sitting there for a year and it hasn't been started uh and i, I forgot to mention that this this tool here i showed you a second ago this will tell you if you've got spark from the coil now it's not going to tell you if you got spark from your spark plug in order to to do that you got to pull it's touching the head or some kind of metal and pull it and if it sparks are good but this yeah this will tell me you know that of course it's getting spark from the coil so that's that well guys there we are so uh i got i got the weed eater or the uh, leaf blower. See, here we go. Now we got the Hell's Angels. Anyway, I got the leaf blower here. It's a Ryobi. I bought it for 25 bucks or something. I talked the guy down. Uh, he said it should run. Uh, he hasn't heard it run, but he was told it run. I'm told it runs. 
I don't know. Spark plug's kind of buried up in there, so I didn't even check it for sparks. So what I'm going to do, it's a mix. It's a 50 to 1 mix, so it's a two-stroke. So what I'm going to do is mix up a little gas. We're going to put some in there and see what that does. So, so far, I haven't really got to work on anything other than this. You know, we'll, on, the, on the edger, we will uh, just put some air in the tires. I may take it out here inside the house and see if it digs up a little dirt. It should. Uh, one tire I know, like I said, I showed you it's got a hole in it, so it's not going to air up, but that's no big deal. So I, I don't know, that, that engine sounds really good, didn't smoke or anything. It does have that slight fuel issue, but that's not a problem. I think it's half inch, maybe 12 millimeter nut or a bolt on the bottom of the bowl. And you take that off and the bowl comes off, you just put your new seal around there, or O-ring, whatever the case is on that. They're usually O-rings now, but it, it may have the gasket. But it's no big deal, so, or it could just be dry from scenting, so it may even stop leaking. Uh, it's not one in garage night anyway, so. And then we've got the curber over here, you know, we can plug it in and check it, so. I mean, really, I, I don't know what the hell else to do, but let, let's mix up some, some gas and let's see what the Ryobi does, okay? Alright guys, I'll be right back with you in just a second. Hang in there. Alright, I'm back. What I did was, this takes a 50 to 1 mix. And I mixed it in our little boat thing that came with our boat motor that we bought last year. Um, that'll be another one. We'll take it out and, and try it out. Um, I've got about an hour on it, and it takes like 18 hours or some bull crap to break it in. I don't know why you don't have to do it to a weed eater, and it's essentially a weed eater. But anyway, uh, this is what I mixed it in, and that filled it up. Now, this, the guy said he thinks it'll run... Like I said, I didn't pull the plug out of this. Now, I did hit the primer bulb 10 times. And it's got a little leak on the primer bulb. Let me get you down here where you can see. We'll zoom in on that a little bit. That little ball you push, that little bulb. It's right here. It does have a little leak there. That, Like I said, they get old and they're cracked. They're just rubber. So... Uh, that's just a couple dollar fix and just a few minutes so all right guys let's let's see if this thing will run put it on choke there's choke already primed it and I just primed it again there is gas coming up out of here it says 10 times guys but if when you're pushing this bulb and you can see fuel in there you're good to go it's it's prime uh, but if you get a little leak here, that may cause it not to run right and whatnot. But that may be another another video. Okay. Let's see. It says to open the throttle up. Got the throttle open. Let's see what happens, guys. Okay guys, damn it, can't work on nothing. Hope my mic's working. All right guys, um, there we go. So, it runs, uh, not well. When you open the choke all the way up, it seems like it does want to idle, but when you go to rev it up, it bogs down, you heard that boo. That's telling me it's not getting enough fuel. So when you put the choke on, and it's running and it runs good you about half choke it runs really good so here we go again with the damn traffic so um, but you open up the choke and you give it throttle it bogs down that's telling me that uh, it's not getting enough fuel um, I, I'm going to check the air air filter and stuff like that so that's something we could do take this uh, carburetor part here one of these days soon and uh, put it up here on my desk which is my workbench now but we'll do that and um, see what we can do and um, see if we can get it get it fixed and uh, run them properly like I said I'll check the filter first but it could have something to do with that primer bulb 
you know, because it's, it's, uh, it could be, you know, sucking air because, you know, it, it's essentially a leak because, uh, that primer bulb is cracked and gas is coming up out of there when you, when you push a button. So that being said, I'm thinking maybe, you know, it's sucking too much air. That's why it wants to run when you cut the air down on the choke. So crows, I hate crows. I'm scared of them. So, um, we'll check that out, but I've got a runner. I got $75 in this stuff. Couldn't be more happier. So we'll see what we're going to do with everything. But again, thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to check out monkey 1000. Um, she is editing a video as we speak. So she'll have one up here. She just put one up of me locking the keys in the car with the car running <laughs> and I had to unlock it with a, with a coat hanger. So, but that was funny. Um, so anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and if you see this tomorrow, then please have a great week. Next weekend, we are going to New Smyrna Beach, and we'll get some video for you guys of some of that. So that being said, guys, thanks again. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, share these videos, and um, with that, I'm going to say that Shea Bear, I'm going to remember the myth, the man, the legend, Shea Bear 1000. Take care, guys. See you. Bye-bye.